season seven, top 11. Let's go. Okay, so the season has started and let me get to it. Your judges are Nigel, Mia, and Adam Shankman. And I got a phone call. Okay, so the first routine was Billy Bell. He was partnered with all-star Lauren and um, he danced Broadway with Ty Stiorio. And I thought this routine was a very good way to start off the show. And I started to think that um, the caliber of the show is gonna be a lot better than it was before. I've kind of gotten used to the All-Stars already. They weren't so in your face like they were um, in the pre-show. I'm happy that it's not so in your face, but um, this routine I thought was a good. It was kind of forgettable towards the end, um, but good job, Billy Bell. Second of the night was Christina. She was partnered with Mark, and she danced uh, jazz with Sonia, and um, it had like a snake theme. I hate snakes, um, and I still, I got the vibe of the snake, and just because I hate snakes doesn't mean I hated the dance. I like the dance, and I thought she did very well considering she's a, she's a ballroom dancer. Um, I didn't think she was the greatest, obviously, but she was out of her element, so I give her credit when credit is due, and um, I enjoyed the routine. I thought it was well done. Jose was next. He danced Hip Hop by Napoleon Tabitha with Comfort. And um, it was like a predator. They were both predators and you had to try to see who won in the end. Uh, I thought there was a, kind of a lot going on in this routine. I didn't really feel hip hop. I don't know, for some reason I thought it was kind of messy. I, uh, I'm kind of on the fence with this one. It didn't win me over. I thought it could have been better. Uh, it was okay. I thought he, he's good. I'd like to see him do something else, so we'll see how he does next week. Fourth to go was Adichike, and he danced Travis Wall, um, can, jazz I think? Yeah, it was jazz, with Catherine, and um, I thought the story was really smart. I liked the routine itself. Catherine did phenomenal, um, but like the judges said, Adichike's face was blank. He didn't have any expressions, emotions, he didn't feel like he was really into Catherine at all, and you have to have performance. I mean, that routine required performance. You needed to like, it needed to like seep through your body and <laughs> it wasn't believable uh, from Adichike at all. And um, I really, really loved his solo in Vegas, but he's got to step it up again. So come on, step it up. Next was Melinda. She danced with Pasha and the jive with Tony, Meredith, and Melanie. And this routine, I thought it was okay. I thought they were harder than her, on her uh, than I thought I would be. Uh, I thought she maybe needed to loosen up a little bit, but I didn't think it was the worst. They made it seem like she's awful. And I don't like it when they tell them, you're gonna be in trouble, because then they're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't terrible. And I thought they were kind of hard on her, so. I don't know, we'll see. Alex and Allison were next. They danced a contemporary piece by Sonia. And this routine is pro it's only one of the night that I really am excited to rewatch again. It was just, it was beautiful. It was so well done. I thought the judges, the judges went a little bit overboard again, like they normally do. But it, this was very, very well done. And it made you forget that Allison was an all-star because Alex danced to her level and maybe even surpassed it. It was, it was, no, Allison is amazing. <laughs> but it was so good. Together, the pair of them, it was just, it made you feel something, you know? And it was, it was really good. A lot of contemporary in this show in particular, or a lot of jazz and contemporary, but this one, if you haven't seen it, go see it or see it again. It was so good. Alexi was next, and she danced hip hop by Napoleon Tabitha, partnered with Twitch. Um, I felt bad she had to go after Alex. Um, this routine itself, I don't fault Alexi because I thought she danced it well with what she was given, but the choreography I felt was weak and it and it really didn't like push them. It was just kind of blah. It wasn't like something exciting, you know? And it was Dance to Jason Mraz. That's not a hip hop song. I don't know, it's just kind of like, how can you expect her not to be cutesy when the song is just kind of like, it's called Butterfly, so. 
I mean, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like the routine itself, and I blame the choreography. I don't blame her. I like her. She's personable. So we'll see. Hopefully you do well. Lauren was next. She danced pop jazz with a day, uh, Mandy Moore piece, and the judges were really hard on her at for some reason. Well, she danced it, and I thought she danced it well, but like they say, she should probably, like, transition well, da 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 They talk a lot of mumbo-jumbo a lot of the time. But, um, I thought she danced well, and, um, she could have hit it harder at times, but for the most part, I wouldn't put her in the bottom. She's got the package, so hopefully she can move on, and she can move on to greater things. So, I like Lauren. Next was Kent, and he danced a cha-cha uh, by Tony Meredith and Melanie with Anya. And the judges were very nice to him, and I did not like this routine. I was so awkward. It was really awkward because Anya's so fiery, and he's just like a little kid. And I don't know. It was like a mother dancing kind of with a, her son, and he wasn't masculine enough. He definitely didn't command the stage like the ballroom guys normally do. I, I mean, he's he's a very likable character. He's got a great personality, and he'll obviously move on to the next round because people like him. Um, but it wasn't danced well. At least I didn't think it was danced well. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. I didn't like it, sorry. Um, but I like Kent, just not the dance. Ashley was next. She danced contemporary with Neil, a uh, Thai stereo piece. It was supposed to be emotional, but I really didn't feel anything. Um, I guess maybe I was confused as to what she was feeling. Um, it was okay. It was just kind of like a contemporary piece. Nothing really different, nothing... I don't know, it was just... It was it was danced well. It's just I've seen so many routines. Uh, and, um, I guess this one didn't really grab me. And there was a lot of contemporary pieces this uh, episode, so... It was not my favorite, but it was okay. I think she might be in trouble because a lot of people don't really know her, so she might be in trouble, but hopefully she gets to dance again. Finally, the night ended off with Robert, and he danced with Courtney, an African jazz piece with Sean Cheeseman as choreographer. And I liked it. It had good energy. They were together. It was very good. I liked, I love African jazz. I think it's a great, great genre, and I'm happy they kept it in. Um, I don't know about him, though. I'm kind of on the fence with him. I think he's a little bit fake. I, I don't feel he's genuine. He, I think he's a little bit uh, contrived. And I don't know. I guess it's too early to say that. I mean, he's a great dancer from what I from what I know and from what I hear and from what I see. And uh, hopefully he proves me wrong. Um, but I don't know how I'm, I'm kind of iffy on him. Um, but he's, he seems okay. Uh, I, uh, anyways... <laughs> So, yeah, that was my recap of the first show of So You Think You Dance, performance show, that is. And I will be back next week commenting on them again, like always. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the left or wherever it is on the page. And leave a comment letting me know what your favorite dance was or what you agree with me or if you disagree with me. Because it's cool getting a little email and I read them all and it's, and it's fun. And I like them. So <laughs> leave me a message and I will get back to you. So see you next week. Later.